So I feel like the islands of Tahiti are kind of like an infomercial. Mm -hmm. When you think you've seen the best thing you've ever seen, it's, but wait, there's more. <laughs> so there are 118 islands. There are five different archipelagos. Justin and I have been privileged enough to yeah. actually be to uh, visit several of them. Yes. And we're constantly hoping to get to more because it is that beautiful. But we do have a couple of highlights that we truly love. Yeah. We've got our favorites. Yeah. So I'm going to have you start with Bora Bora, which is one of the most popular islands, especially for Americans. I think when Americans think of Tahiti, they think of overwater bungalows in Bora exactly. Bora. And it is as spectacular as you might imagine. So yeah. let's start with Bora Bora. What are some of your favorite things to do there? So Bora Bora, let's first talk about the overwater bungalows. That is the quintessential paradise image of paradise in general and Tahiti. Yep. And I was lucky enough to stay at the Intercontinental in an overwater bungalow, as well as my favorite hotel property in the entire world. In the world? In the world. You've been a lot it, of places. Is, I know. It's called Le Bora Bora by Pearl Resorts. What made it so great? The overwater bungalow for me was, it was small and it had this Polynesian theme. The backboard, the headboard was kind of like a tiki survivor-esque theme, which I love the TV show Survivor. So being able to stay in that over the turquoise waters, uh -huh. the property itself was also designed where the white sandy beaches were gorgeous overlooking the mountain. And then there was a pool area in the property. I. I, I was just floored by how beautiful the property was. And it was also a four star hotel, not one of the five stars. Wow. And the Intercontinental was a five star hotel, which was stunning, beautiful. But I preferred the four star really? hotel. It yes. Spoke to you. Okay. It spoke to me more energetically and also just. It, it, I'm not necessarily, I don't need the bougiest. I don't need the most like regal. I, I wanted the more of the Polynesian authentic. feel, the authentic feel. And that's what I got at Le Bora Bora by Pearl Resorts. And it was, I was there for New Year's Eve and a holiday. Oh, wow. And it was just such a magical experience to, oh. to, to be on an overwater bungalow in those turquoise waters. The, the doors open up. So I would wake up in the morning to the sun rising over the turquoise waters. And it was just stunning. And there's a glass table where you can, it's the TV, right? The TV on an overwater bungalow is where you look at the glass table and see the water moving underneath <gasps> you. Did you see little black dip sharks? I saw little, oh. little fish and sharks, so it was great. So that was in Bora Bora, my favorite place to stay. My favorite activity was- Yeah, what do people do in Bora Bora? I mean, I know it's a lot of honeymooners, yeah. we know, but what do people who aren't honeymooning do? I was there on a honeymoon with myself. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was not with a partner or anyone. I was with a couple other travel bloggers and, and creators and we actually went on a Bora Bora Cultural Lagoon tour. Ooh. So it was a full day private tour where we went to three different locations, uh -huh. to different islands, where our guide was a local from Bora Bora. He made us home, homemade meals on the islands that had the family property on a farmland. We also got to Poisson swim- Poisson Crew. Poisson Crew, yes, of course. We got to swim with black tip reef sharks Aww. at one location. We swam with stingrays <gasps> and it was, the thing that floored me the most, Kinga, in Bora Bora, the most vibrantly colored reef system I have ever seen in my entire life. Yes. I've been to Bali and the reefs were brown and, and dull. Here it is purples and greens and reds and oranges and just gorgeous. So highly recommend going on a tour like that in Bora Bora. All right, Bora Bora. Yes. Well, let's jump over to one of my favorite yes. islands, Morea. Morea. Heart-shaped island, the island of love. I love this island. Yeah. Tell me what you love about so this So what I loved about Morea is I actually got to do kind of more of a cultural experience called the Morea Food Adventures, Ooh. where we were there on a Sunday morning and our guide took a, or he, he basically made a homemade feast for us like they do on Sunday. Sundays oh in goodness. Morea are for family, 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 family. So we were taken in by a family and we were poisson crew and breads and, and meats and fish. And it was the most delicious, Pate. the most delicious meal. But they also Baguettes. taught us, yes, they also taught us how to make coconut milk. So we were wow. there breaking our coconuts open, using the, the whatever tool it was in front of us to actually make coconut milk. And it was so much fun. That was my favorite thing that we did in Morea. And it's also a beautiful mountainous island. We took yes. ATVs through pineapple plantations and threw up these mountains. And it just had that adventurous feel that the, the other flat islands don't. Yep. So that mountainous, rugged adventure is in Morea. Morea, one of the society islands, yeah. it has the best of both worlds to me because yeah. it has the mountains and it also has the archipelago around it yeah. so you get that turquoise water. Yeah. What about Tahiti, yes. the main big island of Tahiti, the namesake of All the right. French Polynesian islands? So we went to, and I hope I say it right, Chiopu? Chopu. Chopu, Chopu, yep. Chopu, Chopu, Chopu. 
and we went on something called the Surfari, where it was a tour along the rugged coastline, where we went rock climbing and cliff jumping and swam in these beautiful emerald to dark blues. And, and it was a gorgeous, gorgeous Jurassic Park-like adventure that I felt like I was on, which I, I loved. But the, the what brings people there is the huge waves. One of the best in the world. Over seven meter waves. And there's videos online, check them out online, that are incredible. We didn't actually get to see those waves because it was really flat while we were there. So we went snorkeling and did the, the cliff jumping and rock climbing. But those waves, that's where they're actually, they've done the Olympics there before. One of the best waves in the world. It's insane. Yeah. It, it's it's a, a stunning visual to see those waves. So I would definitely go back to experience and see what those waves are like. People literally sit on boats watching surfers attempt yeah. to go on those waves. Yeah. So Famous highly wave. recommend that in Tahiti. And I also stayed in the Airbnb there. Again, we were talking about earlier in the Marquesas, staying with a family in an Airbnb or a, a pension, they take you in, they cook the Pasung crew and they teach you their local family stories. Highly recommend doing that in addition to uh, also staying at hotels. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, so I have one more island for yeah. you, one of my favorites, and I know yeah. yours as well. Yes. One of the two Amatus, Tiki Hau. Tiki Hau, we love Tiki Hau. We love Tiki Hau. And we love Dennis, our friend who owns the company Tiki Hau Ocean Tours, yep. where he takes you to different Motus, and Motus are tiny, beautiful, picturesque islands. Oh, you know the emoji of the island with the palm tree? Yeah, That is it. Tiki Hau in real life. And it's these pink sandy beaches in these clear waters that my mind was mesmerized. Mesmerized. Population 400. It's yeah. insane. And not only are the islands beautiful, but Dennis's experience, we were lucky enough on our tour to see a tiger shark. So I swam with my first ever tiger. You're, you're used to swimming with tiger sharks. But Never for me, told. for me, to swim with my first ever tiger shark on this adventure in Tiki Hau, it was a, a connective moment with nature and Mother Earth that I will cherish my entire life. And to be swimming with a tiger shark, it might be scary to some. Kinga knows. It is extraordinary. extraordinary. It's also where we filmed Shark Week this we year. We did film Shark Week yeah. there, which we'll talk about our Shark Week experience. And uh, yeah, Tiki Hau. And, and again, I would recommend staying in a guest house there, not an Airbnb, oh. the guest house experience, where it's these properties with huts right on the beach. Highly recommend Tiki Hau. Yeah, Google Tiki Hau and mm. hit images. Yeah. You won't be sorry. No.